Hey there, soul friends. This is the Oracle of the Feather Crown Tree. This is going to be your weekly heart chakra reading to attune the frequencies of this chakra. Please look below. I started doing a free reading if you submit a question in the comments area. So just look in the description box if you want some directions for that. And also there's a timestamp down there if you want to skip ahead to the intuitive section of this reading as I do start with messages from the author's books first. So we're going to take a look here at the three cards. We're going to start with one in the center for our heart chakra. And we have the lion and the deer from the Rumi Oracle. The guidance this oracle brings you is that you shall prosper most now if you are willing to on become what you have believed yourself to be. It was never really true anyway, that view. It was partial at best and just a view, an identity, not a genuine reality. Some of your previous sense of self shall likely come with this transition into the fuller experience of your being, and some of that previous identity shall be shed as far too limiting. It just won't feel true for you anymore, if it ever did. Any crisis or confusion this brings you shall be temporary fuel to ignite the divine fires within. They simmer into life, cooking you from within bringing out all your flavors, spicy and sweet, bitter and sour, into perfect balance so that your being, the presence, becomes an exquisite dish served up as a divine feast. You shall become nourishment for the world in perfect balance. Your being will hold all, for it holds all within it. It will deny nothing and become a tonic to feed every taste, every appetite, every hunger, and every deficiency. What an extraordinary, sublime meal you shall be. How your presence shall nourish the world. And it begins with the shedding of the either and the or, and they're recognizing instead the all. With such wild permission for unconditional love, you shall thrive in your beingness and feed the hungry world with a meal, complete, satisfying, and exquisite. And then we are taking a card to represent the Dolphin Matrix Chakra from the Kuan Yin Oracle. We have the Tao. Beloved, you are being invited into a more advanced spiritual classroom of the soul. Sometimes we think that more advanced means more effort, and yet in spiritual matters, as we mature, we begin to be more able to stop attempting to control and direct from our more limited perspective and instead become open to receiving and being directed by higher forces which include our own divine essence at one with the source of all. And a card for the spirit chakra from the spirit messages, we have nature. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer. So take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. This card often comes up when your chi or life force is running low. This is a timely reminder that nature is beckoning you to step outdoors and let your body absorb the healing properties that it has to offer. Spending too much time indoors disconnects you from your natural state 
and it can often make oh it can often make you feel drained and lethargic nature welcomes you by offering the warmth of the sun the healing and grounding properties of the earth breathe in the wonder of nature's colors that can be found in the forests meadows flowers mountains and sky let them fill your spirit and allow them to surround and infuse and energize your aura. Spend quiet time in the solace of your own company by the ocean, river, or streams. Listen to its natural rhythmic music as it soothes your soul. Don't forget, you are an energetic being, and that special part of you also needs nourishment. Okay, I'm looking now for some intuitive messages for you. I'm definitely getting you feeling in this lush space that has you kind of in a whirlwind of mixed feelings that are for the most part very lovely. There's a strong sense of just feeling at your best energetically, both in feminine energies and in masculine energies. There's a beautiful energetic balance that I'm seeing. And to really extending this because you have this, it's like you can't help but radiate this out from you and just share that almost like going all the way out into the cosmos, like it, it's meant to be shared in a very wide ranging sense. And I'm also seeing here this need for relaxing and being in, having some quiet time too and just doing something for the pleasure of doing it, something that you love, that you find nurturing to your spirit, like playing music maybe, or just enjoying the luxury of lounging and something that you find really comfortable and doing some activity that makes you just feel relaxed and reflective maybe at the same time. And I am sensing that as you look out, you might be feeling like a little bit worried. You might be feeling like you're losing yourself as well as you're facing the world and that you're sort of being overtaken by something that feels very organic. And for some reason, I'm just getting this sense of a little bit of um it's not quite sad but just um it's not the happiest feeling and maybe it's just coming through a process of change like you're not quite sure how to settle into the energy and sometimes that happens i think like as I'm reading these in kind of a linear fashion, you know, we can get caught up in something that feels new, that frees us, um, enlivens our soul, and in our downtime after we've given it a lot of energy, we can really enjoy just having the space to reflect upon how much we're growing and giving to the world. But at the same time, when we get maybe a day or two into it, we might be a little bit shocked and not quite sure how we're feeling about it. It might have caught us a little bit off guard after we're kind of done with the whirlwind romance of it and the dust kind of settles. So maybe you're just sort of going through that process of, you know, the thrill of something new and then being like, wow, where am I? <laughs> Who am I? What's going on here? So it's kind of an interesting energy to see out 
and of course all of this is just so fluid so we'll see what uh, comes next after this it looks like whatever's going on though is really really exciting just for the fact that it does seem to carry a lot of change with it so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading it was a pleasure to do it for you and I hope that you'll join me for the throat chakra tomorrow you guys take good care